Hey guys, welcome back to another LV1 video. Today we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into some advanced mixing uh, using groups and DCAs with the LV1. Uh, and I'll explain what I used to do and what I'm doing now. Okay, so for years what I used to do is I would have the show set up with just the input channels, and that would just go to right. That would just go right to my left and right, and then I would send my left and right to my system processor or main PA if I was using PowerBrick, and that was it. Then I started using matrices, learned how to use matrix, and then I would separate my left and right, send my left and right to the matrix. And then I would separate with my matrix sizes out either left, right, sub, fills, auxiliary sends, delays, uh, whatever it may be. Recently, I took a class by Robert Scoville, so credit to him for this idea. And I'm using groups and DCAs now more than I ever have before. And I wanna get into why. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mixer and I will show you how I have it set up. So we have our input channels as we used to in the past, um, but now we're going all of our input channels into our groups. And then we'll move over to our DCAs, and then we have kind of what looks like duplicates set up with our DCAs, and I'll explain why. Okay, so let's take a look at our input channels here. We can see we have nothing routed to the left and right. And instead, we're going into the groups. And the reason why we are going into, into the groups in this instance is because during sound check, we can kind of get a blend of how we want everything. And then we can go over here to our DCAs. These are all at zero. We're at maximum resolution, basically, on our faders. And we can use these to mix the show. So we get our sax level here. You know, I have saxes about minus, minus 10 or whatever. And then as the show progresses, I just go over here to our DCAs and then, okay, I need to boost the little sax section up. Yeah, no problem. Okay, sax is a little hot, whatever. You know, we have maximum resolution. We mix the show. And we always know that zero dB on the fader is our reference point, our starting point. So we're mixing the whole entire show basically from our DCAs. So just to recap on that real quick, we have our input channels here. This is like our blend for the band. Instead of grabbing all the faders together and trying to pull them down, we're just going to our groups here and adjusting levels. Get these set for sound check. And we go here to our DCAs and we'll mix the show up and down. Another thing that you can do in this setup is we have a DCA here called band. So we'll go ahead and spell that real quick. And we can see we have our groups here. And what we're gonna do here is, you, know, you get the sound checked the way you want, everything sounds great, band comes in and they're ripping loud. But the vocalist is probably gonna sing, sing at the same volume. So what you can just do here is pull the band back with one DCA. And now we can see we have our grips here and we've just lowered everything by the same amount. So we're not having to go in and grab everything and try to maintain that same ratio because we have our sound check that everything sound perfect. We can just grab our DCA, pull it all down at the same time and everything sounds great. Okay, so we have eight groups here, which is great but maybe you don't want to use the groups or you need more groups, uh, just eight right now. With the DCAs, uh, they're also link groups and what you could do alternatively, uh, if you didn't want to use the group technique, is go up here and select link. So let's see, uh, we'll grab sexes, go up here and press link and now we can kind of do the same sort of thing. We'll go to our saxes here, let's just pull the rack, and pull them down. And now we are pulling, now we are pulling them down the same relative value, which is kind of the same thing as we were doing with our groups here, uh, but just using the links. 
in LV1. Now, we don't have independent processing, which I don't really have much going on here anyway, um, but you can get kind of the same sort of thing um, just by hitting this link button up here. So selecting uh, your, your, your DCA here and then hitting uh, link. So just to recap really quick here, we have our channels as we normally have them, but nothing is routed to our left and right. Instead, we're going to our groups and we are using our groups to basically sound check the band. So we get our blend between rhythm, saxes, bones, trumpets, solos, singing, speech, all that kind of stuff the way we want. So you can see I have a little bit of a blend here already. And then we're going over to our DCAs to mix the show, basically. And these are all assigned to, so you can spell it here, the saxes, uh, your bones, these are actually assigned to the input channels, except for band, because the band's gonna be ripping loud when they start, and we can pull them all down at the same time using the band DCA, but still maintain the vocals on top where they need to be. So we're mixing the show basically with the most resolution with a starting point zero dB with our DCAs. Anyway, I hope this video uh, helped you out guys. Uh, this is a new technique that I've been trying and it's been a lot of fun um, and it's led to some really good sounding shows. So anyway, as always, like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So thanks a lot.